What's good, Aqua Force? Welcome back to the Watch It With McQueen channel, man. Rappers getting robbed. Two Chains, Drake, NBA Youngboy, and Lil Mosey. By the way, Lil Mosey is apparently a rapist. It's a damn shame. Who would have thought? I actually just started to kind of like his music, too. You know, he had dropped this song with Lil Tecca. Lil Tecca. You know what I'm saying? I call that nigga Lil Tecca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the song with Lil Tecky, and uh, that shit was pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? It sounded like a summer vibe. Then we find out the niggas were rapists. What's going on, bro? What's going on with all the rape lately, man? And he, him and EDP must be homies. If this is a BMW, this is this is a very nice BMW. Kind of want one now. Rappers are natural targets for thieves. Part of the job description of being a hip hop artist is rocking expensive jewelry and designer clothes, all while having to constantly interact with the public. Not to mention, many fans act like you've gotten soft if you hire security and don't hang out in the hood. That means even the most successful rappers can get ran up on. Here's a look at some of the most popular rappers who have been robbed. Drake. Drake been robbed? Everyone knows who Drake is. He's a rapper and pop star from Toronto, Ontario, who also happens to be one of the world's best-selling musical artists. Oh, is that Today, right? The artist rolls around with a small army of security guards to prevent any negative energy. But before Drake was the biggest artist in the world, he used to move around solo and was even robbed at gunpoint back in 2009. Bro, my waves is crazy. Like, they, the man, I, I'm like really like starting to actually kind of like get into the wave culture a little bit. Not too much. Don't none of you waivers just be coming to my DMs talking about, oh, McQueen, are you one of us now? No, okay? Because it's not that fucking deep. I'm just, like, really, like, you know, I never really paid attention to the waves like that. You know? I would just brush. But now it's like niggas is really putting the do-rag on, washing with the do-rag on, or rinsing it out after you've already lathered. I'm like, I'm doing a, you take the do-rag off, you, your scalp is, is, is shiny as shit, nigga. You know, you put the oil in. You know, it's just, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like a million bucks under this do-rag, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gonna see the finished product in the summertime. And by the way, my body is looking crazy, too. You ain't never seen my body like this, you know? I know you niggas probably don't care. But you girls, this for you. All right. This summer is over, nigga. All right, and it's my birthday. Niggas turning 28, man. That's crazy. I still feel 21. Sorry, I didn't mean to make this video about me. <laughs> but, you know? Shit is crazy. It's over this summer, man. On May 31st, 2009, the artist was on a date in his home city of Toronto with a woman named Chantelle Brown. The two had dinner at a restaurant in the Little Italy section of the city, and after finishing the meal, they got back in Drake's SUV, which was parked across the street. Just after they got into the car, two gunmen walked up to the vehicle and demanded the rapper's jewelry and other valuables. The robbers ended up getting away with a diamond gold chain gifted to the rapper by his mentor, Lil Wayne, as well as an expensive Audemars Piguet watch and $2,000 in cash. In the middle of the robbery, a witness named Nicholas Carrillo saw what was going on and chased the robbers away. They took off in a getaway car or were pulled over by police after driving the wrong way down a one-way street. Upon getting caught, two passengers got out of the car and escaped on foot while the driver got arrested. One of the suspects who took off was later caught by police but the other managed to get away. The two men caught were Socrates Cotterell and Paul Lelutsu. They were arrested and charged with armed robbery, pointing a firearm, and possession of the stolen property after police discovered Drake's chain, watch, and some of the cash inside their car. However, they never found the guns used to commit the crime, which ended up hurting the case. At the time, Drake was a hot up and coming rapper, but not the superstar we know today. While initially he provided information to the police, he eventually stopped cooperating 
for fear that being labeled a snitch would hurt his rap career. Another Toronto rapper named Big Page that was a business was move. Break of being a snitch, even though they had collaborated in the past. He even went as far as releasing the paperwork to prove that Drake cooperated with the cops. However, the statement he released only proves that Drake was the victim of a crime. It doesn't say that he snitched. In the end, Drake decided not to testify in court, fearing that it would hurt his street cred. The victims ended up getting released for time. Hey man, you can't blame already him. having spent about six months locked up. So the snitching rumors didn't exactly stick. Reflecting on the robbery in later interviews, Drake claims that he believes he was set up by none other than Chantel Brown, the woman he was out on a date with. He says that she had hold on, hold on, hold on. Chantel Brown. Hold up. The woman Does this nigga have a rhinestone on his tooth? Her interviews, Drake This nigga has fucking rhinestones on his teeth, man. <sighs> wow, Drake. Wow. Wow. That's that's more light skinned than anything I've ever done. You know, this just this alone is like what the fuck are you doing, man? Claims that he believes he was set up by none other than Chantel Brown, the woman he was out on a date with. He says that she had an expensive Louis bag with her that the robbers never even touched even though it's probably worth more than everything else they took. He even raps about this event in his track, The Resistance, off his debut album, The Resistance, saying, maybe it was the fast paced switch up or the two guns in my face during the stick up. Maybe because the girl I thought I trusted was who set the whole shit up. It's not clear what happened to Chantel Brown, but she and Drizzy are probably no longer on speaking terms. At least the robbery taught young Aubrey a lesson, and after that, he started rolling deep with security. If you thought that was crazy, this next artist got robbed at gunpoint in San Francisco and took off running down the street. Here's what went down. 2 Chain. 2 Chain is a trap icon. 2 Chain. Birthday song, and I'm different. He dominated the rap radio airwaves in the early 2010s, but at the height of his success, a robber tried to run up on the Atlanta rapper, and he immediately turned around and booked it. Surveillance footage obtained by TMZ shows the rapper and his entourage Two chain. walking down the sidewalk in downtown San Francisco back in 2013. Two chains and his crew are walking down the sidewalk, allegedly on their way to a weed dispensary, and suddenly an armed gunman approaches them from across the street oh. demanding oh. jewelry. The rapper and his security clearly weren't strapped because as soon as they see the gunman, they turn around and start running the other way. Damn. Two chain starts weaving in between parked cars to avoid getting shot by the robber but loses his balance after trying to get back on the sidewalk. The robber manages to catch up with him and allegedly stole his wallet and iPhone before running away. Although 2 Chainz is more of a rap character than a hardcore killer, he came up hustling in Atlanta and had a reputation to protect. The video was pretty embarrassing for the artist and How? he tried to sweep it under the rug by tweeting, one, when a rapper gets robbed, there's usually evidence posted online, and two, when a rapper gets shot, he usually ends up dead or in the hospital. However, it was pretty hard for him to deny the robbery after the surveillance footage was leaked. He did an interview with Atlanta. I mean, what else is he going to do? First of all, he really, niggas should really just be like, why the fuck didn't his, what's the point of having security if you don't have guns? That was fucking retarded. Okay. And two, if for whatever reason you don't have any guns, what else are you going to do? I mean, I, I would run, but then again, I'm not a gangster or a gangster rapper. So, I mean, that's just me. I'm just thinking logically here. But, I mean, hey, you know. In a radio station, 107.9, he says at first he thought it was a prank. But after the dude started letting off shots, he knew it was real. Even though it was an embarrassing moment, at least 2 chains lived to talk about it. Neither he nor his security was armed at the time, and it probably would have been much worse if they tried to confront the dude rather than booking it like they did. It's only in rap that fans expect artists to be superheroes and stand up to armed robbers even if they get caught lacking. All right, like in what? With Come Dino on, Brad, man. 2 Chainz said he had to fire his security after the incident. I would too. Job to keep the rapper protected. Yet, they took off running with him as soon as the guy ran up with the gun. Right, what the fuck? Hopefully, this robbery taught 2 Chainz and his entourage to move a little smarter. No matter how comfortable you feel in the city, being a well-known rapper automatically puts a target on your head. Yeah. But if you thought that situation was crazy, this next rapper and his entire crew had their chains snatched on camera. But when an affiliate tried to get them back, it was revealed the chains were fake the whole time. Lil Mosey. AKA the rapist. He's a rapper and singer from Mount Lake Terrace, a city outside of Seattle, Washington. 
Mosey started popping off back in 2017 after his track Pull Up went viral and managed to rack up 25 million streams the first week. He's gone on to release several popular hits, including Blueberry Fago, which features a Cole Bennett directed music video. Plus, Mosey was featured in Double XL's freshman class of 2019. Mosey was 15 at the time that his first single started popping off and is still only 19. Although most fans don't consider Mosey as a street artist, he does talk about guns and ops in his music, leading Maine to believe that he's about that life. However, his fan base is pretty young and doesn't take much to convince kids on the internet that you're harder than you actually are. Mm. But Mosey's street cred took a serious L after he and his crew got their chain snatched and a video of the robbery got leaked onto the internet. Mm. In the video, a bunch of Seattle goons have him and his crew up against the wall and are lecturing them about being disrespectful. In the next shot, the crew shows off the chains which spell out band kid and claim they want 20k for their return. In the video, the dude who stole the chain keeps saying how they don't have respect for him and his brothers, leading many to believe that Mosey and his crew were talking shit on social media and the thieves pulled up to teach them a lesson. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a word and shit, bro. Like, it just out of respect for all my family, shit. Why you After the robbery, Lil Mosey took to social media to diss the robbers in a freestyle. However, he didn't have that same type of energy when his chain was getting snapped. Damn, like. it matters worse, another Seattle artist named 28AV managed to get Lil Mosey his chain back only to find out it was fake. 28AV claims that he and Mosey had mutual friends and he managed to pull some strings and get the chains back. 28AV claims that he and Mosey had mutual friends. Sorry, um, you guys know I'm a pervert, so you know, I, I just, I gotta get a, I gotta get a closer look at this ass that right he here. Mosey had mutual friends. Damn it, I missed it. Strings and get the chains back from the robbers. He reached out that bitch had ass, man. Time, and they didn't seem interested Sorry. in back. AV and his crew ended up making a video testing the diamonds and revealed that they were fake the whole time. Damn. Which is probably why Mosey wasn't stressed about getting them back. In an interview True. with a local podcast, 28AV says that he did it because he felt disrespected by Mosey, who blew him off after he tried to do him a solid. Even though they aren't that tight, AV says that Mosey is representing Seattle and making the whole city look soft by letting something like that slide. I mean, Mosey reconsider you guys are from Seattle. I mean, no one is going to look at Seattle like it's... Damn, these niggas are tough. I promise you no one has ever thought of Seattle being like, oh, fuck. We got to stay out of there, man. You know what I'm saying? No, but no one has said that. <laughs> so, you don't got to worry, AV. All right? How he was moving because in August 2020, he was arrested on felony gun charges for carrying a concealed weapon. The rapper, along with his bodyguard and another associate, were pulled over in a black Escalade in LA for driving without license plates. When the cops pulled them over, they noticed an empty holster, which prompted a search, eventually uncovering three loaded 9mm semi-automatic pistols. The cops also found four credit cards in a backpack that did not belong to anyone in the vehicle. All three were arrested and charged with carrying a concealed weapon. Mosey, who had just recently turned 18, was released on a $35,000 bond. Although it's good that Mosey had beefed up his security, he may want to be sure that his bodyguard is holding legal weapons and not dabbed in credit card fraud on the side. Otherwise, he's going to get himself mixed up in even more drama. Damn. If you thought that was crazy, this next rapper got robbed by goons who filmed the whole thing. Damn. After the robbers tried to make it right through a mutual friend, the artist cursed them out through Instagram. NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy is a popular rapper and singer from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He's one of the hottest artists of the generation of rappers who came up in the late 2010s and has been consistently releasing hits since his single 38 Baby took off in 2016. But unlike really? many rappers, it's well known that young boy is about that life. Really? He's currently fighting a federal firearms charge that could put him behind bars for a long time and has a long list of past arrests that range from kidnapping to attempted murder. Check out our video on rappers who ran from the cops for more info on young boy's recent arrests. But before being wanted by the FBI, Youngboy was involved in a situation where a few robbers stole some petty cash from the cars in his garage and uploaded a video of the break-in to Instagram. Back in 2020, footage surfaced of a robbery that took place at Youngboy's home. The thieves recorded themselves going through the vehicles in his garage looking for valuables. They tagged the popular NBA Youngboy fan account on the post and demanded that the rapper give them $30,000 to get his stuff back. Youngboy took to Instagram not long after the robbery to call the thief stupid and claim that they only got away with some car keys, a $20 bill, and his cameraman's flip-flops. Then, another video surfaced of Jay Prince from Rapper Lot Records claiming that he knew the robbers and they wanted to broker a deal. 
Jay Prince is a rap legend who has been a well-known figure in the Houston music scene for several decades. I mean, what? What? I want to know what kind of figure this nigga is. You know what I mean? Because it seems like niggas are just like afraid of him. Is he like a mafia leader or something? Like what the fuck? I remember one time I was kicking him with YB in the mirror, and we were at a South by Southwest. And some niggas came up to us and they were talking about how, oh, you gotta check in with Jay Prince. What the, what, I wasn't doing nothing but just smoking weed in the corner. I was just, I have no idea what's going on. And then later on, I get on the internet and I find out YBN the mayor and the whole and YBN crew has found out that they have not checked in with Jay Prince. What the, you know, like what? I'm trying, why? What does this nigga do? Can someone fill me in, please? Well respected in the hip hop community and has been promoting artists and brokering various deals behind the scenes since the 80s. But young boy doesn't care much about the OGs and took to Instagram to say that he didn't rock with Jay Prince for putting his business out on the internet. He claims there are plenty of people around him that Jay Prince could have easily contacted if he wanted to make a deal, but posting his business online for everyone to see was just unnecessary. Jay Prince responded to the young boy by saying that he was only trying to help and that the rapper was being a dumb boy with limited thinking abilities for disrespecting them for no reason. You took my kindness for weakness, but you're a dumb boy with limited thinking ability and disrespect. Both are a little bit in the wrong. Jay Prince probably should have contacted the young boy directly rather than airing his business on the internet. But young boy also shouldn't have cursed out a legend when he was just trying to help. The situation concluded after young boy confronted the thieves on Instagram Live. The rapper asked young boy if he wants to buy his stuff back, to which young boy responds by telling him that they didn't have anything valuable. Young boy says he could care less about the stuff and he's only on live to find out where they are so he can smoke them. The robbers call him lame for threatening to kill him over $20, but then again, they did try to extort him for $30,000 over some petty cash and a pair of flip-flops. Luckily, no violence was ever committed over the robbery, which shows growth for the NBA team. However, they seem to have bigger things to worry about after being investigated by the FBI. Hopefully, Youngboy will beat this weapons charge and get back to releasing bangers, or at least beef up his security so cloud-hungry robbers can't just sneak into his garage and steal his homie's flip-flops. If you like this video, check out some of our previous videos from rappers who ran from... Alright, man. Well, that's it for this video, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe.